You have less than a month left to submit your senior ads. Please read the details at the link below. Place your order soon because space is limited. The deadline is March 1st. Please see Mrs. Johnson in room 37 with any questions. Stuco is hosting a winter dance this Saturday, February 11th from 8 to 11 p.m. The theme is Pajama Jam, so make sure to wear your favorite PJs. The cost is only $5. You are not allowed to use the out-of-district guest form from homecoming for the upcoming winter dance. You must pick up a new form by the office, and they are due by 3 p.m. Wednesday, February 8th. If you will be 18 years old by the April election and are not registered to vote, there are voter registration cards in the front office. Once you complete the form, the, form will mail the, the office will mail the form for you. The vote is April. You must complete the registration process by March 8th. NHS will be hosting a blood drive on Thursday, February 16th from 2 to 7 in the Commons. Please donate blood to save a life. Permission slips are outside the office or in Mrs. Mayo's room for number 14. You may make an appointment online with Mrs. Mayo, Maya Franklin, or Max Molling. David's Bride has sent coupon cards for $50 off prom dresses. If you would like a coupon, please stop by the library. They are located on the free magazine table under the large read poster. You asked for it, and now it's here. Bruiser's School Store is now accepting debit cards. No cash, no problem. Swipe and go. Also, $10 shirts are still available. Get one before they're gone. Now to sports with Sid. Hey KMO, I'm Sydney here with your sports. The girls' basketball team traveled to St. Teresa's Academy last night in a rare mid-season non-conference game. JV came away with a 43-22 win, putting them 10-3 on the season. Varsity lost in a dramatic double overtime, 55-45. The loss brings the varsity's record to 10-10. The girls will be back in action at home tomorrow night versus Belton. JV game will tip off at 5 with varsity to follow. The boys' basketball team hosted Raytown South in a conference matchup last night. JV lost in a tough one, 59-58, bringing their record to 12-2 on the year. Leading the way in scoring was Decker Hansen with 19 points. Varsity came out strong and held a 30-22 lead at halftime. Raytown South continued to battle in the second half, but the Carney Bulldogs showed up on the offensive end. The Bulldogs took the W, winning 71-59. The Bulldogs are now 14-5 on the season and 4-2 in conference play. It's all for your sports, now back to Luke and Decker. If you are interested in joining one of our Kearney High School publication staffs, KHS TV, The Clipper Yearbook, or Kearney News Network, we would love to have you. We need writers, photographers, designers, social media experts, and sales and marketing professionals. Please complete and submit the staff application by Friday, February 24th. The application can be picked up from the counseling office or completed online at the link below. The following students received medals at the FBLA District Leadership Conference. In third place, with Banking and Financial System, Celeste Allen, Molly Ross, and Allie Wolfer. Third place, with Business Law, Brett Benner. Third place, with Introduction to Financial Math, Tristan Smith. Fourth place, with Website Design, uh, Cho Gillespie. And fifth place, with Marketing, Jennifer Cates, Maggie McMurray, and Carlin Peters. Congratulations. Thursday's lunch will be barbecue bacon cheeseburger, nachos, chicken enchilada, sloppy joe, salad bar, and chicken sandwich bar. Have a great day, KHS. We'll see you back here tomorrow. <laughs>